गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो वी स्टार्टेड विच चैप्टर लास्ट डे वी स्टार्टेड विच वन पोलिनोमियल पोलिनोमियल एंड वी डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट वॉट वी डिस्कस अबाउट अबाउट पोलिनोमियल से बाइनोमियल Three terms. So, show me your video, all of you. Nikila, Amal, Jitna, Deem, Adlio, Isha. Your video, Adlio, Isha, Dwayth, Suri Dev. Okay, okay. This that's about monomial, binomial, and trinomial. What next? Then, uh, yeah. Linear, linear polynomials. Quantum, which has one and. And uh, quadratic polynomial two mm. as degree. Two mm. mm. polynomial three mm. as degree. Degree yes. Ma linear polynomial degree one. Quadratic polynomial degree two. And cubic polynomial degree three. And we um, have uh, we did some problems. Uh, whether they are. Uh, um, yes. I have one doubt. Yes. And the degree of a constant polynomial is zero. Ah uh, okay. I will explain. I will explain. Let me take the board one second. constant isha what is the meaning of constant polynomial that you understood constant polynomial constant polynomial means example isha give me an example for constant polynomial isha constant polynomial example nivedya nivedya ma'am ah 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 uh, okay, two. okay two or three. P of P of x equal to two or P of x equal to three. All these are constant polynomials. Okay, and this two we can write two x raised to zero. Am I correct? Yes. Hmm? Can we write two? Yes. Can be written as two x raised to zero, and uh, three can be written as three x raised to zero. Okay, so here what is the degree of two x raised to zero? Degree is zero. Degree zero. Second case, what is the degree? Is zero. 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 So p if p of x equal to hundred, then also its degree is degree is zero. Zero, which means the degree of a constant polynomial is always zero. Is it clear, Isha? Hmm. Degree of a constant polynomial is zero. Isha, clear? I think she has some problem with her network. Are you there, ma'am? Ah, is it clear, Isha? Ah, yes. Now yes. one more doubt. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, we if it is not a, if there is no variable in the term, we can't ah. say it as a polynomial. Yes. See, P O. If there is no variable, it's two. Two is a constant. There is no variable. No. Okay, so it is. It can be written as in the form of a variable. You can introduce the variable. How can we introduce the variable by putting x raised to zero or y raised to zero? X and y are variables because 
any quantity either x raised to 0 or y raised to 0 r1 so we can write 2 as 2x raised to 0 3 as 3x raised to 0 okay so that the degrees are 0 clear Yes. Okay, okay. Now we will move to next set of questions. Okay. Now, uh, write the coefficients of the following. Write coefficient of x square in the following. Write coefficient of coefficient of of x square. Write coefficient of x square in the following. In the following right coefficient of x square in the following first one first one two plus x square plus x second one two minus x square plus x Write the coefficients of x square, only x square. First one, what is coefficient of x square? One. Second? One. Negative one. Negative one. Then the third one, pi by two, pi by two, pi by, 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 by two, yes. And fourth one, no. hmm? no coefficient of x square is there is no x square means how can we write? Hmm? What will be the coefficient then? There is no x square term, we can do what? We can write 0 x square plus root 3 x minus 1. So that coefficient can be? Coefficient can be? 0. 0. 0. Coefficient of x square here it is 0 because there is no x square term. So we will put 0 x square. 0 is the coefficient of x square. Okay. Now write the degree of the following. Third question. Write degree. Write the degree of the following. That is First one's degree? Three. Second one? Two. Two. Third one? One. Last? Zero. Last one? Zero. Zero. Because three can be written. Three can be written as? Three raised to zero. Thirty-six. Nine, 29, including me, 13. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now we have all switching on the video. When you see me, you will see something with you. Puja. Yes, ma'am.
Suryadev. Sir, my Zoom is not connecting to the video. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, children. So, okay, so that's uh, that's about uh, degree of polynomials. Next, you have to classify. Good morning, sir. I'm can you show that one for. Should we chill? Last, uh, last problems. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, one second. Okay, I will show. Okay. Last one three. So it's degree. Degree of three is. Zero. Okay. Zero. So better you write uh, this. You write three as three x raised to zero. Then there won't be any confusion. Okay. Okay. Can I change this? Lynette, is it over? No, oh, ma'am. Okay. Wait, okay. Right. Okay, next, next, I'm giving you some polynomials. You have to classify whether they are linear, quadratic, or cubic, okay? Okay, you have to classify the following as uh, quadratic, linear, or cubic. Okay, so I'm writing the equations as one is x squared plus x, second one, x minus x squared, third, y plus y square plus 4, 4, 1 plus x. Ma'am, we should write this. Yes, yes. You have to write whether these polynomials are linear, quadratic, or cubic. Also, you write are they monomial, binomial, and trinomial. trinomial. Both you have to mention. Okay? Is it clear, yes. Alan? What to do? Yes, okay. Sir. Sixth one. Root r square and is seven x cube. You have to write whether it is it is a monomial, binomial, trinomial. Also write uh, whether it is a quadratic, linear, or cubic. Start writing. Ma'am, sixth one is r square. R square, r is the variable. Instead of x, r. r is the variable, r square. Okay. okay. Albert, what about the first one, Albert? First one. Is it a monomial, binomial, or trinomial? Binomial. Binomial. And and it is binomial and Albert. Linear. Linear. Binomial. Quadratic. Ah. Oh. What is the lean? What do you mean by sure, lean? Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Correct it. Correct it. It is Albert. It is Albert. Quadratic. Quadratic. Why? Why we can say this is a quadratic as quadratic because what is the reason? What is the reason? Hmm. There are two degrees. Uh, deg not two degrees. Degree of the polynomial is two. Don't say two degrees. Degree of the polynomial is 2. That's why we are saying it is a quadratic. Clear, Ritwik? Okay, so it is quadratic. Quadratic. 
okay next one fadil fadil yes ma'am ah next one uh, binomial and quadratic okay it is binomial and quadratic binomial and quadratic correct advait murali third one um uh, third binomial one. binomial trinomial trinomial correct good trinomial trinomial and and it is linear linear why why did you say it is linear and quadratic 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 decrease 2 okay highest power it is here it is 2 advait here the highest power is 2 advait okay so it is quadratic 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 hira fourth one um, binomial mm. and um linear La yes good it is binomial and and linear um, by ah uh, yes candida ah uh, which one ah uh, any doubt no okay 3t next tom tom um, monomial and linear monomial and linear maljit monomial and and linear okay monomial and linear amaljit next one quadratic and monomial 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 and quadratic monomial and quadratic last one last one and monomial cubic and monomial monomial and yes monomial and monomial and cubic cubic polynomial monomial and cubic polynomial so this is about polynomials once again polynomials linear quadratic and cubic linear means alan linear polynomials are Ma having uh, uh, what is one linear polynomial what is one one uh, degree one degree degree one and quadratic two degree yes two degree uh, then yes. three degree what is it what is name if degree is three polynomial. cubic polynomial cubic. okay then monomial binomial and trinomial which what are they monomial one term mm. binomial mm. two term mm. trinomial three terms okay okay this is about classification of uh, polynomials can i move to the next topic is it clear yes ma'am uh, yes. next so right next heading as zeros of a polynomial very important topic zeros of a polynomial zeros of a polynomial zeros of a polynomial zeros of a polynomial okay all of you listen to the board listen to the board consider a polynomial p of x equal to p of x equal to uh, 2x 2x minus 2 P of x equal to two x minus two. Okay, then what will P of one? How we will find P of one? P of x equal to two x minus two. So P of one. Replace by x. Replace by okay. We can displace x by one. So it will be equal to two into one minus two. And value is two minus two is zero. And P of two. P of two is two into two. Four minus two is two. P of negative one. P of negative one. Negative one minus two. Equal to negative four. Negative four. Negative four. And P of. 
P of negative two, two into two and it is equal to is it negative two? Negative two is negative. Nikila, Nikila, Nikila. Is it negative two? Nikila. Negative four minus two is Nikila. Negative six. Ah, negative six. Negative six. Negative six. Now consider another one polynomial. P of x equal to x um, x minus one or x plus one. P of x equal to x plus one. What is P of one then? One plus one. Plus one. One plus one. Two. P of zero. One. One. P of negative one. Zero. Zero. Negative one plus one. Zero. P of two. Three. Two plus one. P of two is two plus one equal to three. Okay. So. Here p of x equal to 2x minus 2 and all these values are when you are giving x equal to 1, x equal to 2, x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 2. Here p of x equal to x plus 1. When, p of, when x equal to 1, it is 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 0 and 2, 3. Okay. See, consider these two cases. Okay. Here P of 1 equal to 0. When we give x equal to 1 in this polynomial, the value of the polynomial becomes 0. Here, instead of x, when we give, when we give this negative 1, value of the polynomial becomes 0. Okay. For all other values, for all other values, it has some value. Polynomial has some value. P of 1 equal to 2, P of 0 equal to 1, P of 2 equal to 3. Here also, for all other values, P of polynomial has some values. But only in one point, that here it is at x equal to 1, the value of the polynomial becomes 0. Here at x equal to minus 1, the value of the polynomial becomes 0. Okay, so the zeros of a polynomial mean it is those values at which the values of the polynomial become zero. Okay, zero of a polynomial means they are those values at which the values, the value of the polynomial becomes zero. Okay, so he, see here p of one equal to zero and here P of minus 1 equal to 0. So here 1 is the is the 0 of 0 of our 0 of P of x. Here P of x is 2x minus 2. Here 1 is the 0 of P of x equal to 2x minus 2. And here x equal to minus 1. Here x equal to 1. When we give 1 for x, we are getting 0. So x equal to 1 is the 0 of this polynomial 2x minus 2. And here x equal to minus 1. When we give x equal to minus 1, we are getting 0. The value of the polynomial becomes 0. So here x equal to minus 1 is called the 0 of 0 of 0 of p of x equal to x plus 1. Is it clear? What is 0? 0 of a polynomial means it is the value. It is, but see, p of 0 cannot be a 0. May or may not be. Okay. p of 0, p of 0 we have value 1. Here also when we give 0, p of 0 will be 2 into 0 minus 2. It has some value, negative 2. Okay, so it is not a zero, not the digit zero. The zero of a polynomial means it is those values of x at which the polynomial becomes zero. The value of the polynomial becomes zero. Those values are known as zeros of a polynomial. Okay, so you do one thing. Um, write this. Ma'am, one no. doubt. Okay. In uh, left side, uh, one, two, one, three. One. Fifth question. 
Okay, you write first. Consider the polynomial. Consider. Ma'am, we should write this. Ah, uh, yes. Consider the polynomial p of x equal to two x minus. You write this. Consider the polynomial. Consider the polynomial p of x equal to two x minus two. After writing all this, I will give what is uh, zero of a polynomial. P of Now, x equal to Two x minus two. You can see it is on the board. Two x minus two. Okay. My laptop so loud, so I can't see. Two two x minus two. I I will say two x minus two. Now find p of one, p of two, p of minus one, and p of minus two. Find the values for p of one, p of two, p of minus one, and p of minus two. Right. Finding zeros of a polynomial is very important topic. This year and next year also we have. Um, chapter, ah, yes. No repeat. Which question? From. Or you want to want to repeat the top uh, this concept? No. Or you want to question only? Two x minus two. P of x equal to two x minus two. Okay. Then find p of one. P of two, P of minus one, P of minus two. Advait, can you see the board? Advait, it is there in the board. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Then write P of one, P of two, P of minus one, and P of minus two. And you are getting P of one equal to zero, P of two equal to two, P of minus one equal to minus four, and P of minus two equal to minus six. Ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am. Yes. Ma Ah yes. Ma'am, can you repeat that? Consider the polynomial that part. I okay. Consider the polynomial. Consider the polynomial p of x equal to two x minus two. Consider. Consider the polynomial p of x equal to two x minus two. And write up to p of minus two. Did you write? Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. This is uh, okay. This is first example. As ex second example, write p of x equal to x plus one. P of x equal to x plus one. Then find the values for one p of one p of zero p of minus one. Okay. After that, you may write 
here p of 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to, therefore, x equal to 1 is the 0 of p of x equal to 2x minus 2. Second example, for the second example, x equal to minus 1 is the 0 of p of x equal to x plus 1. Our class is up to 10, 15, 10? 10, 30. 10, 30? Okay. 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 All of you wrote these two examples? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now I am give, going to give the definition. After that, we will do more examples. So write a real number A. Write first. After that, I will explain. Okay. A real number. A real number A. Second example. Second? Example. Okay. A real number A is a zero of, is a zero of, is a zero of a polynomial P of X. P of X. A is a zero of a polynomial P of X. If if p of a equal to 0, if p of a equal to 0, p of a equal to 0, a equal to 0, a is also called the root of the equation, a is also called root, root or zero, both are same, root of the equation, root of the equation, p of x, when we put p of x equal to zero, it become an equation. If you put just p of x, it is a polynomial, okay? So right, put this in a box also. A real number. All of you wrote these two examples? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Ah, yeah. Now write the sentence. What is the sentence saying? A real number A is a zero of a polynomial P of X if P of A equal to zero. See, in the first example, P of one. A, here it is one. P of one becomes zero. The se second example, P of minus one becomes zero. Okay. So this one or minus one, a value of zero can be any real number. Okay. So P of A is zero, then that A is called zero or root. Zero or root, both having the same meaning. Okay. Zero root, when it will become an equation. Zero, when it is a polynomial. Okay. Equation means we must write P of X equal to zero. This is an equation. Polynomial equation. Polynomial equation. We will discuss uh, more during next period. Okay. Ma'am, we should now, write that. At this box, you have to write. Box. PX is uh, uh, that I will explain later. That I will explain later. Okay, children. Shall we wind up? Our time is up. We will discuss more on next period. Thank you. Did you all, did you all wrote this box? Yes, ma'am. Did you write? Okay, now okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.